Welcome to Twilio Messages. In this video, we're going to demonstrate how to manage your incoming Twilio text messages. So from your home page under Office Overview, you'll be notified if you're receiving any new text messages. So in this example, we have two new text messages. I just click on here. <clears throat> so I see I have two, one's from an employee, one's from John as a client. So I know it's an employee because it's under here, the username. Dave Murray, so it doesn't have the client name. If it had a client name, then I know it's a client. I can click up here saying show all sites. So if I have multiple sites, I'll see all the text messages coming from all sites. I can assign this message to an employee just by selecting the edit pencil here and assigning it. Or if I have multiple ones, I can select down here and check the box and then assign. If I want to enter a note related to this, text. I just open it up with the edit pencil, type a note right here, and then I save. If I want to reply to John, I just select the little reply arrow icon here. That's going to shoot me right into John's client file, and from here I can reply to that text message. And I'm going to refer you to this page, the Twilio message log, for information on actually how to reply to a text. Now to reply to Dave, who's an employee, same thing. I just select the reply icon. <clears throat> now this shoots me into his Twilio message log as a user. And again, I just reply. And again, I'm gonna refer you to those training videos inside the message log on how to reply to an employee. And one last thing is you might get a, a prospect sending you a text, which they're not a client and they're not an employee. And if I click on the received icon down here, They'll come through as just a phone number. So <clears throat> when, a, when your clients are sending you texts, Adam's going to look to see if they can match that phone number up with a client file or an employee file. And if they do, it'll display the name. If they can't make a match, it'll just display the phone number. So in this example, we have just a phone number displaying. That means there is no person inside of Adam. It doesn't recognize them. So it's just a prospect asking you a question. So from here, you can go ahead and reply. Now they did leave their name, Peter. So it said, I'm selling my house, I don't owe any taxes. I can hit reply, type my message. Now this individual must have sent me a previous text message and it's linked to that phone number. So here's a log linked just to that phone number, not a client file, but that, that actual phone number. So if you were to go back and forth with a prospect, and you don't set them up as a prospect inside of Adam, this is how you would track any correspondence going back and forth. And I'm going to refer you to how to reply to a prospect. Again, it's documented inside the Twilio message log. And for, for more information, visit atomanager.com.